So. Relax your tongue. Relax your tongue. Relax your tongue. So if you're doing this at home, do it for the whole you know, couple of days. Do that idea, just that idea. You don't have to do it fast. You do it at your own speed. Like any physical thing, any art, it's going to take time, okay? So now the next one, let's see. Um, passionate breath. You need air. You need to fill with air. If you fill with air properly, well, that's great, but a lot of people go, well, that looks like crap. Obviously, it's wrong. It's tense. And you've actually pinched your, your glottis is where your uvula is, little dingle in the back of your mouth. You're going, <sighs> or <gasps> opening, doing something. You don't manipulate your mouth or your throat, ever. You leave it alone. This notch thingy, though, might get a little tense while you're breathing in with a lot of air. You have to train yourself to release that. Okay, so initially I'm going to do a, a warm up on passionate breath because passion in, passion out. Energy in, energy out. I didn't mention muscle. None. It's just intention. I'm going to breathe in as though I'm breathing in fire and passion and energy. And then I'm going to sing out with it. And I'm going to breathe it in. And I'm going to sing out like a the whole of a fire hose with water coming out. Passion out. The one thing nobody wants to do. You have to talk yourself into it every day. You won't ever sing properly on your voice, another term of art, if you don't give more, 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 more. Not stomach muscles, not clench, not force, not, <laughs> not something that is done with muscle. It's intention, it's all brain power. Use your brain. <laughs> your brain knows how to talk to your vocal cords. They do it when you speak, and you speak just fine. Let them do their function and get all the muscles that don't need to be there out of the way. Okay, so first I'm going to remind myself of my passionate breath because I'm tired, I'm a mom, I'm exhausted, I teach, it's just, ah, <laughs> I don't want to do it, nobody does. So, passion, forgot, breathe in with passion. Breathe in with passion. Breathe in with passion. Breathe in with passion. Now for fun, I'm going to say watch the notch. This is one of the biggest places where people pinch, or the whole necklace area. We pinch here at the base of our tongues as well. And we clench our jaws and we sing like jock singer. Oh my gosh, I can't even watch it. So, one thing at a time. You have to do the exercise until it's assimilated and you've got it in the slot. And then you can move on because it'll kind of be in the back of your awareness while you superimpose the new idea on it. And if you do this every day, hopefully, then you'll be able to work out what's wrong with your voice. And that is the most freeing thing that my teacher, Adrienne Savoie, Montreal, awesome, amazing, just saved my life. I had no voice at the end of my master's. It was great. So she's just amazing, and she's given me the world, and I want to <laughs> give you guys a heads up that it can be done another way. Anyway, end of lecture. So, oh yeah, I forgot the passion. Release your notch. Release your notch. Release your notch. Release your notch. So I'm super that idea on the passionate breath. Oh, my hair's fun. I'll do an example without the passionate breath and I'll, pro I'll probably cough. It'll sound just passion in, passion out. <sighs> yeah, so. Oh yeah, I'll just, just stand here and breathe and kind of flop over. Release 
is your notch. There's nothing in that. Nobody's going to want to watch you sing that. It's boring. And it's much harder in the voice. I was not actually in it. I was just kind of nah, 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 writing a shopping list. Yeah, I had a couple of other technique things in me, but I've been doing this since 1997, singing opera since 1986. Some things are just going to be a little bit easier for me because I do it every day. You have to do it every day. You won't improve unless you do it every day. Hum, do something in the car, shower. You won't improve unless you do it every day. That's just fact. If you're a musician, if you play an instrument, you might be able to go away from it, but you will never be on your game vocally unless you do it every day. Take one day a week off just for vocal health, but the whole week I, I was forced to take off this time, unheard of. I can't, I was panicking. <laughs> So, what next? What else can I tell you? Breathe in three dimensions. Breathe all the way back here. It's like, give yourself an image. Give yourself something to grip onto. You're breathing so much that dragon spikes are coming out of your vertebra, that, out of your spine. That's a fun one. Oh, that feels awesome. Excuse me, I'll show you. So, so I'm big here in a barrel. Fun times. Okay, so breathe in three dimensions or like my teacher says, spread your wings. Like these wings here, imagine you have wings because the middle of our backs fail us and we have to have that slight upward tilt, a very slight sternum tilt, solar plexus tilt but not a uh where you're squeezing these together. So if you open your wings, this middle part here is going to stay open. Anything that's closed is going to affect your reson resonances. Your resonances happen when your body is buzzing, your body is open, you're not pinching anything off. I'm not getting any resonances here. Don't sing like a duck. Sounds horrible. So if you open everything up, then you can resonate. You are a speaker. You need to be your own speaker. There cannot be any obstruction from hips. Hips can tighten. Ha! Huh. Bet you never thought that. You can release them sideways and down. Lots of yoga is always a good idea. That's why I do it when I warm up. I do all kinds of things, just whatever's tight. Okay, address it. You can sing through almost anything except like up dog. Don't do it. Or cat and cat cow. No, cat cow. The cow and cat cow. You, that's too far up, too much of an extreme. So, <sighs> breathe in dragon spikes. Why not? Make it fun. <sighs> Open up your wings. <sighs> breathe in 3D. Now I'm getting high. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my nose doesn't close up. Okay? <sighs> Open up your nose. It's passive, it's just an intention. <sighs> Open up your nose. <sighs> Open up your big one. When you get high, things are very, you have to be very technically exact. So if you open up the back of your head and release your neck, if you say open up the back of your head, well it's from your face back. All of these muscles inside can pinch, all of the outside muscles, your scalp can pinch, the, these two muscles on either side of your spine can pinch, all the way up to the base of your skull, all of it can pinch. And inside the soft palate, all of those swallowing muscles behind your hard palate. So the back half of your mouth can all go ee! You don't want that. Open. Leave it open. There's a slight adjustment to how you speak when you're a singer. It's just here and out. Here and out. So I'm going to say open up your head, which to me is ha! Oh. Everything behind my face is just opening, exploding into the back of the room. Whatever image you want, it works with you. Whatever resonates with you, okay? Open up your head. Open up your head. Open up your head. Open up your head. So I'm going through a transition now. 
like to protect high notes. We want to protect them and close in around them. And you have to force yourself to get out of that habit. I want to pinch as I'm doing the long note. So you think bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The opposite of what you do, want to do. I'm also not going up stepwise. Every note is the same. I don't care if it's low. I make every note the same. You trust. You trust that your brain can make the vocal cords vibrate at the rapidity that needs to happen to make each note. You can't control that. It's not, a, how does a pianist do this and touch a key? Oh my God, it'll fry your brain. You don't need to know that. Just get out of its way. Let the brain talk to the vocal cords, okay? So you're getting really high. You want to start controlling, so you have to be even more open and even more precise with your vowels. So things get too high to articulate words. So I try to do an ooh or an ah, whatever feels good for you during the day. Something not e or y or something pinchy. So I'm just going to do an ooh because I want to make sure my my resonances are open, my head's open, and all of this area is open before I do my singing. Okay. I've been sick and my control isn't as good. Those are the first things to go. So D sharp, but high C, not bad. So you have to know your limitations. Right now, I'm going to leave that be. I've done it twice now. That's enough. And then you can just bring it down. I'm going to intend to be there and not go physically lower than that. It's not a ladder at all. If you do a ladder, then your low notes sound like crap. You don't need it. Just everything's straight out. Everything's about here. You can even do this with your finger. Mouth and out. Mouth and out. Do something. I'm following the phrase. Whatever. And you notice I'm probably doing this. See how the outside corners are closed? Really, we kind of just speak like that. And the more open your mouth is, the less control you're going to have. It's very tense. Don't sing like that. Oh my God, no. You lose all of your control and all of these resonances in your face. They call it the mask. This is how you get to your mask resonances. Let them resonate. Just leave everything be. And then you can also sing really, 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 really fast and articulate so that your audience can understand you. And if they don't understand you, they're going to get bored. If you're a machine, nobody can understand what you're saying. They're going to lose interest in like three seconds and they'll walk out and then the bar won't rehire you because nobody stayed to drink because you bored them. You don't have to flip. Well, flapping about is great and being good is great, but being interesting doesn't take that much. Be understandable. Articulate. Okay, so I got to there. Now I'm just, I'm going to stay there mentally. But my eyes are over my mouth, so I'm over every note I ever do. Comes out of my mouth. Let's be logical. Let's stay close to biology. Let's do something that's real and true, okay? Your vocal cords are in here, and it's covered in cartilage. There's nothing physically you can do to change that. You can't do anything to them. All you can do is make them very angry so they stop working. If they stop liking you, you're going to have a hard time. So be gentle. Trust them. They like that. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to really quickly bring it through. You'll be able to do this, it's 34 minutes. Um, you'll be able to normally do this warm up in about five to 10 minutes. I'm just being very, very careful and I'm guiding you through a lot of entry level um, technique as well. So have a nice little pouch, moo moo moo, say boo boo, boo boo, and you're gonna be really tense, boo boo, when you first start and your cheeks are gonna shake. It's gonna take a couple of days for everything to relax around your mouth and then eventually they're just lips are off of your teeth creating this extra resonant space for you to resonate and oh my gosh be clear and talk and not sing in your throat because that sounds horrible and then everybody tries to sing a high note and wonders why they can't well you it's called a vocal fry for a reason you fried your voice it's not pretty stop it just stop it now be different we all like to be different don't we be different have a pretty voice Okay, so um, I'm just going to quickly bring it all down. Then I think I'm done. I'm going to let you guys go. And then tomorrow you'll hear that my voice is better. And obviously don't ever speak with any pressure. Like la 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 la, resist. Not la 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 la. You don't descend with a bang and you don't go up with a bang. You're just deflating. Okay, takes control, takes a lot of mental energy better than physical, physical will fail eventually. You have enough hormones in your body to scream and shriek and pinch and do whatever. Eventually the hormones from when you were a baby, babies can scream forever, believe me, I know. And then all the hormones when you're a teenager taper out of your body till about 25, which is when people start having vocal troubles. They can't do what they used to do, naturally. And usually that's when I see people coming into me, when they've tried to cope and they have gigs and they have no voice and it's just a tragedy so hopefully this will help someone so I'm going to do the passionate breath standing up now so I'm starting to crackle, but I didn't sit on it. Oh. That's about uh, C sharp below middle C. Altos usually sing at the A above that. So yes, I sing along with my basses and my baritones a lot. So that's C sharp, two and a bit usable. So C sharp, two octaves to the E above high C I got to before two octaves and three semitones. Not bad for seeing a usable range. That is every single semitone. Don't tell me you have a four octave range unless you can sing every single semitone of that four octaves. Bring it to me, show me, I wanna know. There are a lot of people out there that claim because they can do a low note and they can do a <laughs> That's nice. But you don't own it unless you can sing every single semitone in between. And this is the way you can. If you treat every note the same, then you're going to have so much control. So, <coughs> see, so that's what I've been dealing with. That actually was quite mild. So, if you're very, very sick, please use these tools. Please take care of your body. Speak melodiously beautifully, mellifluously, all of the beautiful words. People with beautiful speaking voices 
are interesting. People want to listen to you. This intention will make it easier for when you go to sing because you'll be in the right place. You have to live your art. You have to speak beautifully. I've been sick. As soon as you're sick, you want to sit on everything and collapse your body and talk like this. You have to resist that as much as you can. And the best way to prepare for singing is during your everyday speech. So try and enunciate. Try and relax your jaw when you speak. Try not to pinch the back of your back of your mouth. Your soft palate is like this. Open that up and let that be. Let yourself resonate. Don't tense your tongue here. Don't hold your jaw here. Just be very, very French, if you will. Everybody likes that. You look pretty, right? So just really be very, very forward and out when you speak. I wish you luck. This is a long video. I had a lot to give to you. And if you have any questions, please leave um, leave a comment below. Please be nice. I am here to give something to you. I am not attacking you. If you don't like what I say, that's okay.